Hello candy bears, I'm Winter and this is Ultra Flat Core. We have collectively decided, we have decided all together that we're, I'm going to keep playing in 1.3. Uh, just for the sake of making me go through hell. Thank you very much, I love you either. Let's leave from, oh I did not sprint correctly. That could have been dangerous, but it did not end up being such things as these. There is a creeper coming my way, there's probably a zombie in that house. Oh my goodness, too many creepers. There's a spider, another creeper, and a giant slime. Uh, this is the, sl the, the slime hell you want me to go through. So, yeah, you're all jerks. But, here I am. We're going to keep playing 1.3. And... Yeah, we'll just stay here and keep doing what we decided to do at the beginning and such things as these. Uh, I'm going a bit to the left so that I get a little bit uh, even further away from where I, where I went last time. But this one, this one and uh, <laughs> surprisingly enough the level, the experience level that I am at uh, is sort of appropriate. This is my 10th episode of Ultra Flatcore! Wow, you know what it means? It means that I have made 10 episodes of it! <laughs> you would never have said that, did I just get turned around when I did? Uh, this is of course not included in the last episode, which was a short episode, a sort of joke video. So, there you have it. 10 videos, 10 videos of me running and talking, that's, uh, that is actually pretty amazing and it, 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 it I, I need to say something here, I really am happy of being here and doing this and knowing that there is some people that appreciates what I'm doing uh, and that's, it, it just, it blows my mind, you know, knowing that something I do is uh, enjoyed by some other people and uh, uh, that slime is going to ruin my day, isn't it? Uh, and the fact that oh, I have a stack of wheat and it's find somebody to sell it to. Hi! Nope. Chicken guy. I, I, I almost... I, Oh, there's a giant slime there that's going to ruin my day too. Oh crap! The stairs of the smithy almost ruined my day as well. They ruined, they ruined, and nothing here worth taking. What I'm trying to say, and I'm having issues finding the correct words for that. What I want to say, besides gold and diamonds, also in the opposite order. <laughs> ah, wow, it's. Very difficult to put this into words, but I'll try my best. What I want to say is thank you. <laughs> that to all of you who are watching this video and hearing these words, but also all of you who would first will not uh, hear these words, maybe you will start to all the persons who will start to following this series from a later point, from a later video, or people who uh, are not interested in this series but uh, will follow the different kind of videos from me or even people who just opened up one of my videos and saw how what it was about and decided that they weren't interested in it and so just left anyone who ever happened to come across my channel in any sort of way whether they stayed around or not I want to thank every single one of you for just I, I, I don't think you realize this but every single time you click that like button Every single time somebody decides to click the subscribe button, every single time, heck, even every single time somebody opens one of my videos in his browser, even if then they, they just leave because they don't think it's worth it. But even to that, uh, every single one of those actions makes me so happy, I can barely describe it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I sure hope I can make you guys just even 10% as happy as how I feel right now. It's just a wonderful feeling. Yeah, it's, it's just that. Also, I need to check out if there are more 
me this year that I missed. Nope, I don't see anything of the sort, so I'll just keep running. Uh, wow, so I want to make a promise to every single one of you. I want to make a promise, and the promise is I will keep trying to get better and better and better at uh, making videos, editing, editing videos, even with all the issues I am. I have or I may come across in the future, be those money issues, computer issues, uh, even just my mood sometimes not being good enough for recording, but I'll try to go through every single one of those things and getting always better and better and better for your enjoyment. <laughs> uh, there's no reason to remain at... Uh, uh, I'm losing track of where I am. There's no need to remain stationary and not make any progress. So, there you have it. Just a little bit that I wanted to say. Guess we can get back to talking about lucid dreaming once again. We are very close to being done actually with the lucid dreaming business. Uh, because of what I've taught you up until now, that is uh, learn your dream science, keep a dream journal, actually the other way around, keep a dream journal, learn your dream science, and then perform a reality check every time you see one of your dream signs is really all you need to know and to do to achieve lucid dreams there's there's nothing else to it and it's the, the most amazing thing is that not only is this easy and not only uh, uh, it requires very little effort from your part but it's also that it's it, it will not fail it's a, it's a very uh, straightforward thing, you know, you just, if you take this habit and it's the correct way, you perform reality checks the correct way, there's no way you will not uh, have lucid dreams, you will. That <laughs> That's uh, pretty amazing, I believe, it's just that simple. Also my, also my uh, headphones are hurting my ears today. <laughs> uh, uh, however, there are still a couple of reality checks that I wanted to mention because I didn't uh, mention them last time. For example, there's one thing in dreams that to work awful when the, the, it never works correctly like it should and that's uh, anything anything uh, it has to do with <laughs> technology <laughs> in any kind of way, so uh, computers work uh, very badly in dreams. They do not do what they're supposed to do. Uh, if you dream of playing a video game, in video games as well, you're going to keep uh, uh, coming across issues in, if you're dreaming of playing a video game. Uh, and one reality check that is very, very Oh crap, I can't come up with the right word. Help me, Steaming Wet Text. Thank you. <laughs> uh, is uh, turning on or off the light in a room with, uh, you know, with its switch. So pressing a light switch in dreams, 99% of the times just doesn't work. So if you try to turn off the lights or turning them on, it, it, it's just going to fail. And it's pretty... Thank you. <laughs> Especially because in real life it's uh, unlikely that... Uh, well, when you compare the number of times you turn on the lights uh, to that one time when uh, you actually did burn down a light bulb, it's like... Uh, uh, it, it only happens... It, uh, it happens so rarely that uh, if you turn on the lights and they do not turn on, 99% of the times you know that you're dreaming. Uh, it's pretty cool, but uh, uh, also another thing I did not mention is that reality checks work incredibly well in pairs. So say that you perform the light switch reality check and the light uh, works normally, there's still a chance that you may be dreaming and just that one reality check because you were very unlikely, uh, unlucky or you didn't perform it correctly uh, did not work, so it did not show you that you... I mean the light did work, so the reality check did not work. You get what I'm trying to say here. 
uh, if you form if you perform another a different kind of reality check right after that uh, your chances of uh, performing two reality checks in a row that uh, show you uh, that you're not dreaming when you actually are are very very slim so performing two reality checks uh, one after the other instead of only one is usually a good idea just to double check you know <laughs> you're literally double checking your double reality check I'm stopping here to go to sleep good night Good morning. There we go. Let's keep going right this way. West it is. More reality checks. Let's see. I mentioned that your hands in dreams usually behave weirdly. Your skin looks weird. You have a wrong number of fingers. Uh, another thing that uh, works weird in dreams is your sense of touch. I mentioned that mirrors, y you can go through mirrors very easily. Uh, but in general, if you try to grab something, half of the times you will, your hand will go through it, especially if you try to push your hand through uh, walls or the floor or the ceiling, if you can reach it. And one reality check that is pretty uh, well known is to try to stick your index finger in the palm of the other hand. And, you know, if you perform reality check correctly, like I explained last time, so uh, by sincerely believing that you're dreaming, unless proven otherwise, uh, your finger is going to go th right through it, so you know that you're dreaming. And it's also uh, a very... Uh, you, you can perform, perform that reality check without attracting too much attention. Just look at your hands, play a bit with your fingers, try to stick one into your hand, you, and you know, under the desk, under the table, without anybody else noticing what you're doing. So that's pretty good. What else? What else? If you are one of the one, one person who wears glasses and your sight is not too good, uh, chances are, if you remove your glasses in your dreams, you're still going to have perfect vision. So uh, that is another useful. I need to find a wheat guide. Are you a wheat guide? Oh come on! Hello? Oh man! Oh man! Stand still. I need to sell you things. So there you have it. If you wear glasses, you can use them as a reality check, and that's uh, going to be useful because you can just remove your glasses and pretend of polishing them, uh, and nobody is going to. Uh, to glance weirdly at you because it's a very normal thing to do so just remove your glasses, polish them and look around a bit and if your vision is perfect then you know that you're dreaming so that's another thing to keep in mind nobody wants to buy my wheat west, west it's amazing the number of times that I lose track of where West is. It's just that, you know, I have no, no, uh, I can't use anything to, uh, help me. What I'm trying to say is that there are no, ah, thank you. I don't know what I would do without you, you know? Yeah, talking about the Snowy White text, if you are, if you, blah, <laughs> if you're one of those persons who just listens to what I say without uh, actually actively looking at the video, which is perfectly normal since what is going on in the series on the screen is not too important, it's really just about me talking, so you can just listen to me. Uh, you can to me sell the Steam White Talks to jokes, so don't worry about it. <laughs> They're not, the, the, the jokes are not too good, so you're not missing out on anything actually. Don't be mad. <laughs> right. Ooh, so I guess that's it as, as far as reality checks are concerned. But even though I mentioned that uh, performing reality checks the correct way is all you need to uh, achieve lucidity in dreams, uh, it doesn't mean that you need to stop there. When we talked about dream science, we learned that uh, the more often you do things or experience things in real life, the more likely you are of, of dreaming about them. This also means that if you spend some time during your day just studying things related to lucid dreams, uh, lucid dreaming techniques, or just reading about other people 
having lucid dreams, their experiences with them, or even, why not, even just daydreaming of uh, having a lucid dream, all those things are going to increase your chances of having lucid dreams because they're more likely to, anything lucid dreaming related is more likely to appear in your dreams if you think about lucid dreams often during your day. It's the way uh, dream science work. So there's no reason for you to stop here. You should, uh, you know, get informed a bit about lucid dreams. Just maybe check the lucid dreaming, check the lucid dreaming subreddit. Uh, hang around a bit in there, look around, lurk a bit in the subreddit. Just this is going to improve your chances of having lucid dreams without you having wasting any real effort in that. So that's that's cool as well. And. Since there's no need for you to stop here with the real check business, why not add a bit of extra homework for you? <laughs> this is going to be very easy and uh, it's going to help uh, your chances of having lucid dreams so much. It's definitely worth it. So as I mentioned, if you do reality check things correctly, your chances of having lucid dreams are already 100%. Some people take just very little time to have their first lucid dream. Some people may take days, weeks or even months, but every single one of you is going to get lucid dreams if you do the reality checks correctly the way I explain them. So that's already pretty cool, but we can do even better than that. So listen to this. Tonight, uh, wait, actually I need the standard web text to help here and say step four, expectation also known as belief. Uh, actually, those are two different things, but uh, let's use them both. So what you need to do tonight, before this evening, before going to sleep, sit for a moment uh, on your bed, get relaxed a little bit, uh, let uh, all any issue you might be having just slip out of your mind, just don't think about them, just be relaxed. Uh, Look at your hands, because it's a very good thing to do, trust me on this one. Stare at the palms of your hands and tell yourself something, like, I don't know, something along the lines of uh, uh, the next time I'm dreaming, I will realize that I'm dreaming. It's a very simple sentence, very simple concept, and it's what you want to do, right? To have a lucid dream tonight. So, once you've done that, start repeating the same concept, but uh, do not say it do not say the same sentence all over again. Instead, change the words you're using. So, uh, uh, then you will say, uh, in the next dream, I will do a reality check and realize that I'm dreaming. Or, uh, is, you keep, just <laughs> keep using different words to mean pretty much the same thing. The, in the next dream, I will see George and perform a reality check and realize that I'm dreaming. So. What you need to do is focus on the meaning of what you're saying instead of the words that you're saying. If you keep saying the same sentence all over again, your mind is going to wander off somewhere else and you're going to just lose track of uh, of what, uh, why is my frame rate so low? <laughs> you will just lose track of what you're thinking about. So keep using different words so that uh, you you don't get uh, used to these words and give them a different meaning, but instead you're focusing on the meaning. It will make sense, trust me. <laughs> uh, what you're trying to do is to tell your mind to, to cooperate with you, which is pretty important because, you know, dreams are completely made up by your mind, so if you can convince your brain to cooperate, it's just going to be uh, a very good thing. Oh, there's another smithy there. Uh, will this help? Oh my goodness, it will help so much that indeed you may not even need the to keep the dream journal or uh, perform reality checks if only you were to perform this one exercise correctly. You probably won't uh, because it takes lots of willpower to just tell yourself uh, that you will have a lucid dream and then actually have one. So it may work for some persons, but for most of you, it's better to, uh, you know, having a dream journal can't possibly hurt your chances of having a lucid dream, so you do that and you keep also making reality checks and everything's going to be fine. So combining those two things 
you know, the reality check business with the belief business, it's just going to boom, skyrocket your chances of having lucid dreams just that much. So, do it. Now, uh, what you need to do when you do this exercise is actually believe it. As, as, as I mentioned, it's like the reality checks. You can't just carry out the action and uh, not think about it. You really need to more gold and more obsidian. You really need to believe in what you're saying. So there's a charge there. That's where I'm going to go. Dangerous hours. Here I am. This is where I will be spending the next night. Also, slime ball on the ground. Hi, do you sell anything interesting? No, I'm not giving you my gold. Sorry. That's just not something I'm going to do. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The whole belief thing uh, will be mentioned again in, in my next videos because... Uh, the way you control your dreams once you are lucid uh, involves lots of believing and expectations. So we'll talk about this uh, a bit more later. But for today, all you need to know is that if you believe that you will have lucid dreams tonight, you will. That's just how powerful this technique is. So keep telling yourself in, with different sentences every time that this night you will have a lucid dream the next time you dream. Uh, and keep doing it for, well, that depends. Um, when you're tired, you can just stop. For me, a couple of minutes are enough, but you may only need to do that for 30 seconds or maybe five minutes, depending on what works best for you. So again, adapt this technique to what works best for you. And that's all going to be absolutely amazing and awesome and great. So that's all you need to know. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Ultra Flat Core. If you care to see whether I will reach those 40 golden ingots or not. And that is a spider jockey. <laughs> On related news. Right. I'm going to sleep, so. Goodbye.